Hi, my name's Jay and I'm going to be doing some quarantine cooking. Everybody keeps asking me to do it. Show them how I'm cooking some of my dishes at home. So tonight's the night and if I fuck this up, yeah, shit happens. So tonight we're cooking uh, Thai basil chili beef. Come over Laura, show you some of the stuff that we've got. So here we've got bird's eye chilies. It's important to use bird's eye chilies for the Thai cooking. If you can't get bird's eye chilies, just use a normal chilli. This is the white part of the spring onion which I'm going to fry off. Um, I've got the Thai basil here. Thai basil is very important, you know, don't use normal basil, it's a completely different flavour. So make sure you can find some Thai basil. Garlic, I've just roughly chopped. And I've also got some ginger here. Um, oyster sauce, soy sauce, and I'm going to sweeten it with a bit of coconut sugar. So over here, I've got a hot pan, slightly smoking, as you can see, it's very important to have a hot pan. I'm just going to put a touch of this coconut oil in. And this will get the, the beef started. Here we go, so I've got some ground beef here, I've just slightly picked it apart, just so it doesn't all stick together when I'm frying it off. So, in with the beef. So I'll just break it up a little bit with the spatula as I'm cooking it. I'm not going to put any salt in this because I'm using soy sauce and oyster sauce which are quite salty. So I'll add my soy sauce, oyster sauce and then I'll taste it in the end and see if it needs any salt. Yeah, so keep that frying off and out. Very important as well when you're cooking, some dance hits from the 90s. Right. Oh, right, so I've got some ginger here. I'm just going to julienne it. So just thinly slice all the way through it. It. And then I'm just going to kind of gather it up, gather it up like so, and I'm just going to slice through it just to give me a nice julienne. It doesn't need to be perfect, just roughly chopped. It's Thai cooking, so it's nice. Julienne, like so. I'll just add it to this other stuff already cut. Back to the beef. Let's go. It's just starting to brown off nicely. Just keep chopping through it with my spatula. And once I've browned this off, I'm just going to decant it out of the pan. I'll put it into this pot just to hold it. And then I'll fry off my ginger garlic, spring onions, and chilli. So this is nice, fast, easy food, and it's fucking delicious. Really easy to make, pretty healthy. You got a bit of sugar in it, soy sauce, quite salty, but right, so the beef's almost cooked. So I'm just going to put it into this pot here, just to hold it. If you put it into anything, it doesn't have to be a pot, it can be a bowl. Anything you want. Just can it in here. Bang. So in the same pan, I'm not going to clean it, I'm going to keep those nice fats from the beef to sweat off the rest of my veg over there. So, a wee touch of oil in there, the coconut oil. Again, you can use olive oil, coconut oil, peanut oil, sesame oil, it doesn't matter. Just whatever you've got handy. Ginger. Chilies. So the chilies, 
Bird's eye, very, very hot. Just depends how spicy you like your food. If you don't like it too spicy, put less chilies in. I love heat. Water likes a bit of spice. But a good tip for you, if you can't handle the chilies and it's too hot for you, we've got some wipes here. Get the wipes. This is the, into the freezer. Bang. Bum sorted for later. Okay. That's pan. So we've got a hot pan here. Chilies. I've just popped the tops off. And I'm just going to thinly slice them. Again, it can be whatever chilies you get. It doesn't have to be the bird side because they are really, really hot. In there. So this pan here. Alright, I don't want it too hot, so I've turned it down slightly, I'll let it cool down so I don't want my chilies, garlic and um, ginger to burn, so I'll let that pan cool slightly. So this is the white part here of the spring onion which I'm going to fry off, I've kept the white and the green part separate, so we'll add the white to start off, just to an onion, if you've not got any spring onion just use a white onion, that'll do it. So I'll add these um, spring onions in, white part, I'll add the ginger and the chilli. Got the garlic here as well, just roughly chopped garlic. That's it. Just going to toss the pan and strip with a spoon for the matter. Sorry, I forgot to tell you, with this we're having just some steamed rice. Now, we've got a steam cooker over here, a rice cooker. So in there I've got one cup of rice, two cups of water, touch of salt. I advise getting a rice cooker, they're great to have, it just makes it so easy for cooking rice. Right, so, we're just sweating off. I'm going to hit it back in there now for the beef. So this is when the oyster sauce and the soy sauce is in. Now I normally don't measure it, I just do it to taste, I kind of know how much I want to put in there now, but I'm going to measure it just so you know how much to put in. So I've got a cup here, it's a third of a cup, so I'm going to go with that. So, third of a cup of soy in here. Bang. And then, I'm going to go with the Oyster sauce next. See, just gonna three quarters for all that. Should be plenty. That was a kilo of beef mince as well. So that'll last us for a couple of days. You know what I mean? We'll cook, and that should be enough for a couple of days to feed us for three days. Put some coconut sugar here. Again, it doesn't have to be coconut, sticking a healthier option. I'm going to put, I'm going to put a tablespoon of coconut sugar in. About two tablespoons of water. It's actually looking good. So just 
got to put a lid in that now while I'm gonna look at that. So I want to just cut that down a little bit. All those lovely flavours in there. Just stick a lid on it just now. Turn the heat down slightly. Then while I'm waiting for that to cook, I've got the Thai basil here. Beautiful here. If you're not trying to get some, this just makes this dish. So I've just scrunched it up, I've took it off, I've picked it, scrunched it up, and I'm just going to shift and add it. Just thinly slice into it, I'm only going to cut into it once. And that's it, the smell of that is amazing. So that's that, I'm going to just stick that back in the oven out. It's got the green part of the spring onion, which I'm going to add at the same time as I add the Thai basil. Again, I just kind of scrunch it up like, like so, and then just thinly slice. Bang. So let's have a look at this again. That's looking lovely. So I'm just going to. <laughs> Definitely going to need those fucking wipes in that freezer later. Yeah. So that's it. So the rice is probably about 10 minutes away. So I'm just going to get that Thai basil in there now. I'm going to get it in there. I'm going to get the green part of the spring onion. Give it a bit of a stir in. Voila. So, that there, I'm just going to turn it down to the lowest heat while I'm waiting in the rice. Let that Thai basil infuse into that with beautiful juices in there. So I'll just put the lid back on and leave it like so. It's almost ready. And over here, you can see this is just cooking down nicely from over, Laura. Yeah, this out looks beautiful. It smells amazing. I'll give it a bit of a taste test. Just taste it for seasoning, saltiness, sweetness, heat. That's beautiful. So, got a lime. I'm just going to put a bit of zing in it. Over here, Laura. So I'll, I'll go a whole line because I've got a kilo of beef. But I'm just using the fork as a juicer, so just into the line, then just squeeze. Get all that nice acid in, acid in there. Again, squeeze. Just turning the knife and squeeze it into the, the mince. Again, just going to have a bit of taste of sauce. My rice ready. It's over here and the rice. I'm just going to put a look here. So that looks nice and fluffy, that rice. I'm just going to um, fluff it up with a fork. Just kind of dragging the fork over the top of the rice. It looks amazing. Get a nice close up of that. Check that out. It's beautiful, so just put my rod back on until ready to cook. Two nice bowls, plates, whatever you want to put it in. I always keep my plates up. Very important. Keeps the food warm while you're eating it. Yeah, hot plates. Always a hot plate here. Putting hot food. Right, bang. Price is ready. I've just got another lime just for a bit of a garnish. I'll just top and tail it. And I cross it like that. Lines for garnish. In here, I've just made a new salad. I'm just going to garnish the top of it with that. You don't need to put that on, it's not essential. I'm just doing it so it looks nice. Right. Have a look at that, Laura. So that's all cooked down nicely in there. I'm just going to switch that off, put the lid back on it now just until I'm ready to plate. Hot plates. Over here, 
So, nice bit of that steamed rice on there. It's beautiful, it's nice and fluffy, man. A rice cooker, wow. What a difference a rice cooker makes. <coughs> Just in the centre. Garnish, it's chilli, a wee bit of Thai basil in there. Nice salad, bang, limes, and there you have it Thai basil, chilli beef. Nervous, we have a bit of a boogie. Yeah, done.